enjoying the, the time of Easter Monday, and it was well. Hallelujah. Uh, we want to continue this, this afternoon. I want to speak about enjoying greatness through the spirit of humility. Enjoying greatness through the spirit of humility. Enjoying greatness through the spirit of humility. What is the meaning of the word humility? Humility is the quality of having a modesty or low view to one's, one's important. That is being meek. I'm speaking about enjoying greatness through the spirit of humility. Humility is that quality of that having that modest, that low view to oneself. That means being meek, a lack of pride. Another example, another meaning, freedom from pride or, or arrogance, that you are humble. Uh, there are so many examples in the Bible. For example, one of the humble person in the Bible was Moses. Moses was very humble in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, Jesus was also humble. Hallelujah. Now, humility is a true key to your success. Hallelujah. If you want to go to great heights, if you want to enjoy greatness in this life, be a humble person. Hallelujah. Let me give an example of a lady. A certain lady, I uh, release a kazi kwa 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 is the kazi kwa parastatus. Is a bosom United Nations. Is a kazi za parastatus. Basi alipeana diteuzake zote siku moja in the what it was the afternoon. Alikuwa muzi kazi kwa receptionist. Alipigua simu. Ah, release a Ariambio, Haru, can I speak to Jane? Akasama, Sema, Nini, Rataka Nini. It was a bit arrogance. Vida alijibu, alijibu na, Uruka taka Nini? No. Kama ni angekua humble, angeuruza tu vizuri, askize. Ata kama jambo angeabio jambo mzuri, si angeskiza tu. Rakini was so arrogant. Akambiwa, you cannot serve in our office, in our office with that spirit. So the lady akatupa kazi yake. Now, sometimes we can miss our, our blessings by lack of humility. Amen. So it's good to become humble. Humility is a quality of being humble that meaning putting one's needs, uh, uh, putting the other's needs self before yours. Need a hurry, what wale wengine unawachukua ya na kwamba you, uh, you esteem them. Unawa, yes, you, you humble, but they are uje fast. Where wana kuja mbere. Hallelujah. Their needs come before. Now, let me give an example. In the book of Proverbs 22, verse 4, humility and the fear of the Lord will lead to, uh, to riches, to honor, and wrong life. Proverbs 22, verse 4. Humility and the fear of the Lord will lead to riches, Honor and the long life. God give grace to humble people. Hallelujah. In the book of James 4, uh, 4, 6 to 10, God give grace to humble people. Let's read in the book of Philippians. Philippians 2, verse 5. I want to bring this example of Jesus. Let this might be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, whom be whom being in form of God, vote not a thing to be grasped or to be equal with God, but he made himself of no reputation and put upon him the form of a servant and made him in likeness of men. And being, and being found in fashion as men, he humbled himself. Hallelujah. So Jesus was humble. He humbled himself. Uh, and became obedient unto death, and even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also was highly exalted. God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, of things in heaven and this, and this in earth and this under the earth. 
and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Although Jesus was God, he humbled himself to the point of the death in the cross. Hallelujah. We, have coming, we are coming from Easter and we knew, we know what, is, what Jesus gave sacrifice unto us. Akwamba, Yesu alijipeana sababu yetu. Hallelujah. He was so humble. Although he was God, he made himself of all that bad. Yani, yeye, ati kama rikuwa mungu, uh, haikumzuya yeye kushi kama mtumishi. Hallelujah. Even as humbleness does not steal your honor. Hallelujah. But earns you your honor. The problem we have today, what we have nasema, uripo niita nisimame. You do not address me in the right way. Mi ungenita daktari, professors, jui nani? No. What matters? What is the quality that you are bringing in? Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, it's good to be humble. When you humble, God shall lift you up. Jesus, when Jesus humbled, God lifted him until he was given a name which was above every name. And every tongue shall bow Every knee shall bow and confess that Jesus is the Lord. Amen. That means one of our greatness, one of our key to our greatness, it is humbleness. Amen. Even you, we can see in our day-to-day -day life, the people who are humble are the ones who are our bosses. Is that true? It's those people who are humble. But those people are so arrogant. Hey! Sometimes they miss the mark. Let's just give an example. In the time of uh, this by election of UDA, one who was born humble, they were part of you. Like in one born arrogant, one matusi, they are not given positions. Praise God. That, that is our day to day life. Even us, even today, the people who shall elect on, on 8th August or on 9th August are the humble people. Because when a humble person is in the office, he can be able to listen with you. With you. There's, there's more you are until you get your, your answer. Amen. Uh, and let's continue. Uh, another example. God give grace to the humble people. Now, in the book of 1 Peter, 1 Peter 5.5, 5, God opposes the pride. Mungu, God opposes the pride. I... Uh, the pride, I, humbleness, is the opposite of pride. Amen. Pride, need hari unasema. Let me give an example of a church. There are some people who are so proud, so proud, even in churches. Wala samanga hivi. Kama misi kuku kanisa, present worship hage iba. That's a, a very bad spirit. Amen. Remember, all of us, we are gifted differently. Amen. Because you have different gifts. And kila mtu wakona kipawa tofauti. And all these gifts are, should come together and strengthen the body of Christ. Amen. Now, uh, Psalms 25 verse 9. God reads humble people. If you want to be led by God, be humble. God will always read you. Watu wa mbao hunyenyekea, mungu anapata nafasi kuwaongoza. Hallelujah. Another example. In the book of 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. We can also get about more about humbleness. Humbleness, uh, it is one of the great things. It is one of the key to your great success. Amen. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. It's a scripture that we know. If my people who are called by the name of the Lord shall humble themselves. Ah, so that is the entry key to your greatness. If the people who are called by the name of the Lord shall humble themselves, amen, and, and pray and seek the face of God and turn from their wickedness, God shall forgive them and heal 
their rad and heal their problems and heal their challenges and diseases. Amen. So one of the key of your greatness, brothers and sisters, it is humbleness. Amen. Even as a nation, for us to become great, for us to do exploits, we need to be humble. Humbleness will create a room for us. Hallelujah. Those people who are humble, they are teachable. Hallelujah. People who are humble, they can be corrected. Hallelujah. But if you are proud, unasemanga kama sio mimi, hakuna mwingine ni mimi. But if you are humble, you shall create a room to be corrected. Amen. You shall create a room to hear from God. You shall know that in the kingdom of God, there is no champions. All of us, we are in God's making. Hallelujah. But this one will come because of humbleness. And remember, uh, the Bible says that a farmer went to the, to the, a farmer was looking for, for rebaras. He went in the morning, kwa barabara, akambia watu, ingieni kwa shamba. Sanane, akambia watu wengine, ingieni kwa shamba. Jioni, ingieni, shambani, akambia wengine, ingieni kwa shamba. Irifo, pick, fika jioni, alipo kwa akiwaripa, aliwaripa mshahara moja. That is a very, it, it is like a parable about the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. That uriokoka zamani, nirimeokoka juzi, all of us, mshahara ni moja. Hallelujah. Ambo ni wokovu, <laughs> na ufari mwabiguni. Amen. That is that, it was that example, that all of us, we have been called to work in God's, in God's kingdom. No one is supposed to sit down, because all of us, we can do the work of evangelism. Amen. All of us, we can preach the good news. Because, Hallelujah. Now, let's continue about humbleness. God, speak to people who are humble. If you want God to speak to a life, you have to change. You have to train your heart to be humble for you to be hearing from God. Amen. God minister to humble hearts. Hallelujah. God ministers to humble hearts. Let me show you the example from the, from the Bible. The book of Psalms. God ministers to we live to people who are humble. Psalms 50, Psalms 51, verse 10. Create, create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew the right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew the right spirit within me. That right spirit within me is a spirit of humbleness. Amen. May the Lord create that uh, create in me a clean heart. Someone who have a clean heart is someone who is humble. Praise God, brothers and sisters. Remember, as I finish, remember, humbleness, it is lack of pride. Humbleness is freedom of arrogance. It is, or humility, is the true key to our success. We got from Jesus. Jesus humbled himself until to the point of death on the cross. Yes, alikuwa na nguvu na wezo. Wale watu wa mbua alikuwa na msurubisha. Ange wambia by fire wa ungue. Alikuwa na nguvu. Kama alikuwa na uwezo wa kusimamisha dhoruba. Hallelujah. Kama alikuwa na uwezo wa kuita anaambia Simon Peter, nene ukashike samaki 
na kona pesa praise god kama kuna uwezo anapomtokea Simon Peter in the book of Luke 5 anamwambia cast your debt cast your net into the deep and surely he enjoyed the great cash that means jesus had the power amen even to strike the people with the, with the badness but jesus humbled himself at the point of the death in the cross even us may be a good christian virtue that we humble ourselves and in due time god shall lift us in jesus name amen so may god bless you may god give you strength as you continue to humble in jesus name naomba usimame dakika moja mbili mwambie jehovah tu natamani baba tu just to be humble in your presence oh god go to be humble to live a good christian life of humbleness fungua tu kinywa chako mwambie jehovah natamani natamani Asante kwa neema na kwa We give you praise to our God. We worship and we exalt you, Jesus, we go. Baba ni asante wana. Na oba baba kunenekea wana. Mungu ni saloa kunenekea tu oba. Rikendere pesekere baba yanda. Masekere ya rima marandu rubuza. Nena na mungu mwambia tu oba kusaidie. Ani saidie. And the time we can be able to overcome. Yes, Saidia kila moja wetu bwana loa kunyenyekea bwana akaumbika maishani mwetu baba tusaidie bwana as we interact with our brothers and sisters who are not born again uga even to those who are born again may they see the good christ in us uga we worship you and we exalt you in jesus name we pray amen just look at yourself surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And the grace and the